it's the boss back with another video for y'all make sure to like comment and subscribe and like always thanks for watching hey 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 and welcome back to the channel today we're going to do a back to school theme i have some red sanding sugar here i am going to add some red glitter so we can add to our apples and make that sanding sugar pop so i'm just going to add my glitter into my sanding sugar I'm going to go ahead and shake and mix it together. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and coat this apple entirely. We're going to shake, shake, shake and try to get off as much excess chocolate as possible. So when we add our sanding sugar, it does not run down the sides. We want a stiff and neat sanding sugar. So here I'm just tapping, getting rid of some of that chocolate at the bottom of my apple and now I'm going to apply my sanding sugar we want to coat it entirely I always go back and double coat sometimes you might have to triple coat to make sure your chocolate isn't shining through so I'm just gonna entirely coat this apple and pop it in the freezer My sanding sugar droppings, I'm just going to fold my wax paper and pour it back into my container. So I use this mold and some green fondant to make a leaf to place on top of my apple. Since I am using sanding sugar, I am going to use chocolate to make my pieces stick so nothing falls off. Now let's build our books. So I have a strip of white fondant here. I'm just going to attach to my Rice Krispie Treat. You want to make sure that your fondant shows in the front. So where my fondant is will be in the front and on the bottom and the top. The back, it really doesn't matter because we're going to cover that with a colored fondant. Here, I'm just adding some lines to make it look like notebook paper. I'm gonna go all over my Rice Krispie with this and then we're gonna attach the top of our book. So let's roll out some fondant. Go ahead and make some straight edges. We're gonna place our Rice Krispie on our fondant so we can measure the cover of our book. Perfect. Go ahead and take a tool, any tool that you have that will make an indention in your fondant. And we're going to go ahead and put it in our fondant to make that realistic book look.
Now I'm gonna add some finishing touches. The more detail to your project, the better it will look. All right, guys, you know I always bring you a little hack in some of my videos. Here I have a hack for you with your punches. Go ahead and give it a punch. And to add it to your treats, you're going to add some water. Instead of sticking something in and poking it, go ahead and place it on your water, on your treat, and voila. Nice and crisp. Okay, now I'm going to stack my books. You can use water to stack your books or you can use chocolate. Okay, so here I decided to take away some of my fondant. I'm going to place my apple on top of my books and I want it to be level. So I'm going to take out this middle piece so it'll sit flat. All right guys, you know I'm always extra. I always have to make it a little jazzy. So I'm just gonna add some gold luster to my pieces and follow up with the end results. The final step is adding some chocolate onto the bottom of my apple. I'm gonna place it in between my two fondant pieces and we are finished. All right, guys, there's the finished result. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this video, and like always, thanks for watching.